Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel. Supply chain sports talk about demand a lot. Demand planning, demand forecasting, demand shipping. But what we really means when we say demand in selling stuff to our customers? Because the supply chains start with getting someone to buy something from you. In this video, we will talk about sales and marketing and customer service and how they can generate the demand that pull products through your supply chain management. Let's begin. When you're preparing supply chains for your organizations, you may run across the term demand change. The demand chain include three important functions that get customers to buy from you, marketing, sales, and customer service. Marketing is about generating awareness and interest in your products. This could involve educating people about your products and creating an emotional attachment to your brand. Sales is about convincing a customer that they need your products and getting them to buy it. And customer service makes sure the product works the way it's supposed to. So your customer are happy and will buy more in the future. Marketing, sales and customer service need to work together in order to generate the demand for your supply chain. Predicting how much demand there will be called a forecasting or demand planning. And raising or lowering prices can help you change or shape the demand for your products. Now, supply chains are designed to fill demand. But the link between the demand change and the supply chain is one of the hardest challenges for many companies to handle. The sales folks may miss out on sales if their supply chains can't keep up with the demand. But the supply chain team might find themselves with too much inventory if the sales team misses their target. So this team needs to be aligned. And one way to improve their coordination is with an integrated business planning process called Sales and Operations Planning, SNOP. Basically involve making sure that sales and marketing are setting realistic demand targets and then communicating openly with the supply chain about capacity and constraint. What makes supply chain so important is that we are fulfilling the demand from customers who buy our products. And as supply chain professional, we need to work closely with sales, marketing, and customer service to keep supply aligned with demand while making sure the products flowing through the supply chain. Okay, that's the end of my sharing in today's video. My name is Vivian. I am the business software coach, and I appreciate you guys also liking my channel. Have a nice day. I see you in my next video.